right, y'all. All right, we're going to get into it. And this one is about Damon Dash. She talks about Aaliyah. You know, he used to, he used to date Aaliyah. You know, they used to date and talk and stuff like that. And he was in love with Aaliyah. You know what I'm saying? He was in love with her. So, um, he on uh, E E T Entertainment Tonight. That's what they call it. Um, and he talking about her fear of flying and her reflect upon their relationships and stuff like that. But let me tell you something. Damien Dash was crazy about Lee. He was in love with her. And so was R. Kelly, you know. And now that it's been 20 years since she's been gone, they bring everything starting to resurface back, you know. From in the past, everything starting to resurface back because it's been today. Well, matter of fact, yesterday. Today's another day, but um, yesterday was the 20 year anniversary since she's been gone. So, um, going he um talking about their relationship and how it it affect him and. We gonna get into it. So yeah, let's get into it. It's amazing to me that I'm the guy that was gonna be. Hold up. Let me turn this up soon. That'll work. It's almost amazing to me that I'm the guy that was with Aaliyah. Did you think you would have married her one day? Yeah. Yeah. Did you, Did you hear all this other stuff in the news with R. Kelly? How do you hurt her to make you feel about Kelly? We talked, we talked about, about it up to the point where it hurt. And then she, and she said, I don't want to talk about it. First, First of all, this has, this to, has to be a hard time. This anniversary coming up. Aaliyah's past. He's... He said we talked about it until it hurt, and then after that, she, you know, Leah said she don't want to talk about the R. Kelly situation. So he was like, we just didn't talk about it no more. And he, you know, and when you with her and he in love with it, all you do is respect her wishes. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Well, well, it's amazing, it's amazing that, that it's been so long, but it still feels like yesterday. Like literally, like literally you, know, you know, I was reflecting, reflecting today. today. There, hasn't there hasn't been one day since she's passed, passed. passed. not one, in 20, in 20 years, years that I haven't either heard her name, heard her record, or seen a picture of her. Every, every single day she's present in my life, and I feel lucky for that. What did we, what did we lose by losing her? her? Where, would where would she be today? It's where, it's where the world would be today. Right. right. The, trajectory the trajectory of the world would have been a lot different had she been on this planet, you know, because... Facts. Facts, the world would have been a lot different if Aaliyah was still alive. The world would have been a lot different, straight up. There wouldn't be these singers that you see now, it, they wouldn't even be here. If Aaliyah was still here, man, come on. She was just at her prime right before she passed. You feel me? She was just at her prime. And so just imagine. If she was here today, she'd be on all top of the charts, everything. They, 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 they took a good one, straight up. They took a good one. But she was an opinion leader. She was, she was one of those people that if she did something first, everyone followed suit. So yeah, she was just building herself as a brand. You know? So, again, the trajectory of the world would have been a lot different. Because she was a very forward thinker. Did you think you would have married her one day? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean you, know, you know, the plan was, was because, because we were both so busy. So while she was shooting um, the, movie the movie in Australia, Australia I was shooting Pain in Full. So I couldn't, I couldn't fly to Australia to go see her. She was gone for four months. When she came, when she came back, back, you know, she had, she had to be in LA to rehearse for a video while I had to do whatever I was doing. I had companies to run. So, so we, we would have such a good time when we saw each other. You know, it was like, it, it just always felt fresh. So our thing was, you know, let's see if we can like tolerate being ch around each other with no distractions for six months. If we still have the same feeling, then we'll get married. But our intention at first wasn't even to be in love. We were just really good friends. 
it won't fail for real. It was only a connection. But what I learned from that, number one, I didn't know what being in love was. I didn't even understand what that feeling is. And I wasn't able to really achieve that with her. So now I know what it feels like. So I was able to identify when it happened again. You know, and after she passed, it changed my whole life because I would only do what I love. I would only be around. He said he didn't know what love was before he met her. She helped him find what love is. That's crazy. I would have think that they would have man if she was still here. You know, I think Damien was the one for her. He said he protected her and everything. You know, when she was feeling uncomfortable and in the situation. I, I, I'm pretty sure for facts that Damien was the one for Aaliyah. Straight up. Found people I love. That became the only currency I cared about is how I felt. But everyone here is either gonna lose someone they love or they're gonna be lost to someone they love. We're doomed the day we're born. So in between that time. He said we doomed the day we born. Facts. We is. People pay attention. We doomed the day we born because you're gonna lose lose love when you gotta go through that greed. You gotta go through that pain and know the fact that you would never see them again to the day you die. And that might be years and years and years later. You gotta go through all that pain and all those years without the one you love. Straight up. They love or they're gonna be a loss to someone they love. We're doomed the day we're born. So in between that time, we have to enjoy life and marinate the things that really count. But I never thought about what it would feel like to lose my girl. Damn. Arkansas homeowners, would you like to be raised your electric bill for free this year? You can with a brand new state plan. No. Okay. You didn't want her to go, did you? No. So she was shooting video in Miami. And I had my son and my nephews with me. And, you know, she was very supportive. She particularly liked Freeway, his voice. And she was supportive of everything I was doing. She was like, yeah, while I'm in Miami, I had the state property down there, uh, which was a group. And she was going to do a record with Freeway. So I was like, all right, I'm going to come down here. I'll check you. I'll bring the kids, make a vacation, work, the whole nine. So when we got there, you know, Hype was making this video. And I was like, I know Hype. I just got off of... Uh, it's pimping, but I had to cut the video, you know what I mean? Because like, that was in print. So I was like, you know he's going to make you do another day. Don't do it. Trust me, just do it so he can spend money, you know? And sure enough, she came home that day, and I had a big house. I rented this house, and she's like, I'm going to, you know, bed. And I was like, I just thought that it was, uh, it was necessary. You know, I knew that that was going to happen. And then, when she actually was, uh, sort of playing, she, uh, the Blackberry. So, Hype, Hype, I guess he, he was the one who helped uh, Leah with the plane and stuff. And that, that kind of pissed Damien off. I, I can see it in her. I can see it. And I was like, well, don't get on it. And she was like, well, I got to because I work with you. She likes plane, and she always had a very serious fear of planes in general. So she had to overcome a fear to get on that plane. Damn. On the way there. Um, but what I was really more tight about was that I had heard that Freddie Kravitz had offered her a jet and that Hype took the jet. So that's what really pissed me off about the situation when I heard about it. You could ask Hype about it. That's what I said. Have you ever, have you ever talked to Hype about it? Yeah. How did that conversation go? Ask him. Man, he, man, hold up. He looked pissed. <laughs> He looked pissed right there. He said, ask him how it went. Ha ask him how the conversation went. Damn. That's what, that's what I said. Have you, ever, have you ever talked to Hype about it? Yeah. Well, how did that conversation go? Ask him. Ask him. But I was supposed to ask him. Yeah, but ask him. I feel like you had some things to say to him. Because of my respect for Aaliyah, the music does is coming out. But everyone's very respectful of her memory because no one really speaks on it. Because that's the circle of people she had around. So out of respect for her memory, I don't say a lot of things. Tell me about, Tell me about that day. day. Where, where were you? I was getting my hair cut. I was waiting for her. So, you know, she was trying to get back really quickly because we were trying to see each other. So she 
I mean, they were the first thing smoking. And that day I was, I waited in the house and I was getting a haircut. And when they told me that there was a crash, it was her mom that told me, and they said they didn't find all the bodies yet. But they didn't know she was still alive. But for me, I was like, so it's a wrap. So I haven't finished my haircut. And I took all of her clothes out of my house and everything. And I went to go see her mom. Because I just didn't want to be triggered. I was not embarrassed to cry about losing a weed. And I'm still not. But I cry hard. For the people that thought I was weak, I mean, I still had to get myself together and fight. Because there were things that were going on. We actually have video of you. You're very at her funeral. Very emotional. I don't revisit it often because it hurts. So it's not like I visualize it, you know, so much. I see pictures sometimes. But a lot was going on in that moment. There's a report that to get to get on that plane, she may have taken something. There's a new report out. Yeah, I read it. What did you think about that? I didn't really think about it. You know, it's like what am I doing? What difference does it make at this point? You also said that. Yeah, it's a lot of new stuff coming out about what happened when she passed. The day of when she passed, they saying something about the pallet and that, what he just said that she took something. You know, it's like the death with Tupac, with Biggie, with Easy on their anniversary of their death. It's always something new that come out. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, but that's how it is. You know, her death, and then your, and then your mother's death yeah. shortly after. Yeah, yeah. it changed. She would turn you into a monster. Yeah, yeah. It, made it made me feel it. Cause I, Cause I know what real pain feels like, and I've dealt with it. Can't, can't be nothing worse than that. There's, there's a couple of things that are a little worse than that, but or up there. But overall, if it ain't that, then I'm not really concerned. And you know. Death can't be so bad because you're going to be with the people you love, so it makes you not fear it. So there's no fear. It made me fearless. You know, I ain't like, I scared of anything. He talked about, about the music coming out now, finally. So it took a minute, and the estate wasn't happy about it. Do you, does the estate want that music out? I don't know. Do you think, do you think it should have been out a while ago? I'm a fan. Of course. And do you, do you feel like you're ready for that rush? You know, there was a time when she first passed, a lot of what I did to escape was I went out every night. And what everyone knew in New York was when I walked into a club, do not play any lead. But it just took me a minute. It was a process. I couldn't even look at her movies or anything for a while. But now, you know, you never heal, but you learn to live with it. Facts. You never heal, but you're going to live with it. You're going to find a way to live with it. And and get through it because you never hear, you never forget about it most definitely. I hate when people be like, oh, it'll get better in time. No, that pain is there forever. You just learn how to deal with it. Straight up. That pain isn't going anywhere. But uh, with, with, on, with life, as life goes on, you learn how to deal with it. But the pain is, it's, it's only going to get worse as the, as the months as, hold on, as the weeks, as the months, as the years, and I know this from experience, I lost a lot of lovers. As the weeks, as the months, as the years go on, it get worse, worse, and worse. I'm telling y'all, I know. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So now I, I am ready for it. It still messes with you, doesn't it? No. No. It doesn't mess with me. I mean, her, it messes with me that she's not here. But I have no regrets about the way I, you know, approach things. Because that's the way you're supposed to approach things. I did what I was supposed to do. I could have never known anything like that would have happened. In hindsight, had I known that, then yes, I would have actually broke boundaries and definitely did things to make sure she was safe. But I could have never imagined that that type of thing would have happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But she, but she was just, she was, she was cool. the coolest. The only, the only person I know as cool as her are, are, are is, Rocky is Rocky and my daughter. But, but she was definitely different. 
and she, and she didn't want to deal with, with the bull. Like the things that, that had happened in the past, past she told me to leave it alone. I was going to ask you about that. I, I, I figured you would. It's, it's back in the news again. You said, you said that, that um, after, after hearing some of the stuff about R. Kelly, you would need therapy. therapy. Would you what did you mean by that? When you hear, when you hear about, about things and you can't do anything about it, you have to internalize it. So I have to figure out how to release it so it doesn't turn into cancer in my body. That's what I meant. Now, now that we have been told, told that, that they were indeed married, that he, 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 I knew all that. Did y'all ever talk? He said he knew all that. He was with the lead. He knew that. He knew that she was married to R. Kelly. But you know how the news reporters be. Had them, had them interviews go. They got to get deep down into it, straight up. It be crazy. And you can tell that Damien is irritated as fuck, you know, in this interview, straight up. Talk about it. Like, we talked about, talk about it up to the point where it hurt. And then she said, I don't want to talk about it. Leave it alone. And when she would, I kind of didn't want to know because her, I would have to respect her wish no matter what. She, her wish was leave it alone, let me heal, let me rest, let me I'm in love, let's just enjoy this. She had passed. Really? Yeah. hundred percent. And I had helped her. Did you, did you hear all this other stuff in the news with R. Kelly? How do you how does it make you feel about Kim? I don't wanna say <laughs> he wanna say in in, in this Dude, know how he feel. He just want him to say how he feel. Man, you know how he feel about R. Kelly. He just told you how he feel. A little bit, but he didn't get all the way into it, but he just told you how he feel. <laughs> That's crazy. There were all things for all, for all of us that knew there were things that had us surprised. How shocked this would be. I was just shocked at how long he got away with it. How many people turned. And look the other Thanks. way. How many people were still, you know, involved in him in any kind of way, knowing, knowing all those things? Which one? Which one? That memory of Leah. What's the memory when you think of her? What is the memory that you have? A moment, a, moment, a conversation, a, a trip. Uh, uh, well, we took, well, we took this one trip to Nevis, to Nevis all, season, all season, and no, and no one was there but the, but the monkeys. I got the, I got the pictures. It was us, us on an island for like a couple of days. And we really felt like we didn't need anybody but us. It didn't matter about fame. It didn't matter about money. The wealth was our love. And no one was watching. Like I, it's almost amazing to me that I'm the guy that was with Aaliyah. Like I'm almost a fan of myself. Like who is that guy? Who could have be that cool to be with Aaliyah? Like who could have actually been with Aaliyah? That's crazy. So I got to so appreciate, appreciate that. Every year the legend grows. Who you are, you were part of that legend. What do you think that people should remember about her? What is the thing? What is the I mean, when she's presented to them, great, great music and swag, the coolest. You know? Facts. Great music and swag. And Leah had this swag. For real. Hey, and I'm a fan of Leah. Straight up. I've been a fan for years. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. And uh, make sure you give it a like. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. But uh, on that note, y'all gonna catch me in the next video. Y'all already know. But I'm out.